most wanted and the most out there. Uh, the thing we've been told a hundred times won't work. We're crazy. We're nuts. You know, no way it's gonna work. Don't spend money in it. Uh, obviously, as you walk along, anybody that's raised lettuce see there's some failures in here. Uh, it's got some seed production on it. We said. 24 varieties in here to figure out which ones we didn't want to keep boosting. Not everything was going to work well with this system, um, but we're in the trial phase of figuring all those out. Um, this was an old hog barn, uh, pretty much looked like the other end when you walked in, and uh, we got it down to this. Um, did some research with some uh, guys from Purdue, uh, down, maybe down Vincent actually. Uh, did a lot of greenhouse type production, got talked to him, what's our best system we can use in here. And we kind of uh, settled on this hydroponic type system. And we wanted to try out some dirt stuff because not everything you can grow in water. So uh, we want to be able to provide a set of consistent products uh, to restaurants. And we're going to do that in the lettuce and anything. A salad package. We're we'll we'll trying to come with a whole salad package all season. So your broccoli, your cauliflower, your radish, your carrot, you know, green onion, anything you can add to a salad, we want to try to complement what we're doing here. Um, it's a fairly simple system, actually. Uh, we construct a bed, line it in plastic, put water in, water in it, um, fertilizer, and Set the styrofoam seats on top, and we start setting plugs in, the, in those holes, and go from there. Uh, we do have to monitor our water um, once a week. Test equipment. Um, how, how do you? What type of nutrient system do you use within your water? Uh, it is a uh, Peter's uh, fertilizer mix. It has got your MP and K in it. And it's got a, a lot of micronutrients in it uh, that these crops need because they, they need more, you know, they need the magnesium, the calcium, the stuff that's all in the dirt. Uh, we are seeing, speaking of, we are seeing a slight difference with what's in here with what's outside based on the color. Okay. There's a, one of those micronutrients that we're not picking up in here is out in the soil and is actually changing the color of some of these lettuce. Really? Not quite as dark, uh, you know, so. Isolating what causes that, we're not sure yet what micro that is, but uh, we have to monitor that. We check the pH level. Uh, we actually have two basic of water in Indiana uh, to raise in this type of system, so we're adding an acid. Uh, the acid we use is citric acid, so it's a food grade uh, instead of a lot of growers are using phosphoric, sulfuric acid, uh, and doing. Uh, production with it. I thought the said the gas was a little safer as a food product uh, to use. It is a little more expensive, uh, but the safety comes in the back of me, so that's why I love that way.